And so if you are in this auditorium and you love the NDC, the way you can show your love for the party is to remain quiet for the next 10 minutes. That is the best way to show your love for the party. Because what we are doing here is very important. The destiny of this country and generations unborn depends on what is happening here. So kindly be calm. Please put your mobile phones on silent just for a few minutes. When we are done, you can put it back on ringtone. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, you are all welcome to this press briefing. As always, we are grateful to you for honoring our invitation at such short notice. We really appreciate the time you have taken to be with us here at this hour. Today has been a busy day for all of us. We went for the December 7 polls. That is yesterday, because I think uh, it is past 12 now. And so today is the 8th of December. Um, we addressed you yesterday on some developments. Since the close of poll, results have been trickling in from polling stations across the country. And there have been other developing issues. This is supposed to be a very brief encounter. And the one who will be addressing us is none other than our hard-working, able, dynamic, charismatic, and the winning elections director of the NDC. So with a round of applause, let's welcome to the podium, Comrade Elvis Afrii and Francis. Thank you very much, Sami, and uh, greetings to all the comrades here. I see a lot of comrades, and it brings me a lot of excitement. Um, first of all, I would like to thank all Ghanaians, especially NDC supporters, for their hard work, their vigilance, and their support so far. Uh, it's not been easy, but you've proven that you are really worthy warriors for the cause. Uh, preliminary results tricking in shows a very exciting outlook. But our victory is not complete until the last ballot is counted and collated. These preliminary results can be seen from the provisional parliamentary results so far. And some significant seats that we have swapped, some for the first time in the history of the Fourth Republic since 1992. And I'm going to go through some of them. Now, starting from Greater Accra, we have flipped Crowa. Flip means this is a seat that was won by the MPP in 2016, and we've gotten it back based on the provisional results. So we have flipped Crowa, we have flipped Lejokuku, we have flipped La Dadekotopong, we have flipped Tema East, we have flipped Adenta, we have flipped Medina, we have flipped Ablekuma Central, and we have flipped Okankwe North. This is Greater Accra. So, so far, 18 and counting. I'm focusing on the flipped ones. When you come to the eastern region, we have maintained a lot of our seats. We have flipped Apamanya. We have flipped Akwetia. Very significant. And Ayinswano, I'm told, is looking good. When you come to the western region, we have flipped Amenfi East. We have flipped Pristia Huni Valley. We have flipped Jomoro, yeah. and we have flipped Evaledura. Yeah. When it comes to King Tam, uh, Bono East, we have flipped in Kranza South. We have flipped in Kranza North. Techiman North and South. We have flipped Techiman North and Techiman South. And in the western region, we have flipped Sefiri also. Western, western, north. western north, sorry, Sefiri also. 
When it comes to the central region, we have flipped a confi. We have flipped upper Dentra West for the first time since 1996. We hear there are some shenanigans going on. Nobody can stop this way. Nobody can stop this way. There's no man or woman that can stop what God has said. It is not going to happen. We have flipped Ewutu Senya West. We have flipped Cape Coast North. And we have flipped AAK Felix Ufosukache. We have also flipped Pifu Eti Mokwa. We have flipped AOB. AOB. Esikuma Odobi Mbrakwa. And we have flipped Gumwa West. I'm told I said North. Okay. I've just been informed that we have just won Ayenswano as well in the Eastern region. In Bono, we have flipped Jama North, we have flipped Doma West, we have flipped Jama South, and in Ahafo. No, we have flipped Wenchi. The hometown of Buzia. And Tano South. Half of, okay, okay, that is half of. So, many more are coming. So far, if you look at the flips, if you put them together, we are looking about the 35, if you add a yes or no, that is 36 seats that are flipped. So anybody who is sending out figures claiming they have won some percentage must see a psychiatrist. That's hallucination. You know? And and ninety nine percent of these are not scattered and blouse votes, so it reflects in the presidential. So if we flip all these seats, nobody should tell you where we are heading towards. It's it's very clear. So, however, as I keep saying, no premature celebration because the collation is still ongoing, and therefore we charge all our counting and collating agents to be vigilant and alert. They should remain vigilant and alert in the last hours of the counting in order to secure and protect the overwhelming victory that is coming. We charge all our party supporters to move to the various coalition centers to ensure that the will and mandate of the people is not stolen. Because we've heard a lot of things, shooting and all that. When we are there in our numbers, they can't kill all of us, right? So move to the coalition centers, parliamentary candidates, executives, regional constituency, party executives, go to the coalition centers and support our coalition agents. And when we do that, the victory that we have already chalked will be secured and we know that indeed what God has started, he will complete. Because the victory of the NDC is coming again. And the people say, hey, the victory of the NDC is coming again. Once again, no premature celebration. Let's secure and consolidate that victory. Go, everybody, move to the coalition center. Let's secure, secure the victory. Vigilance, alert, vigilance, 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 vigilance. We have started, we are almost there. Let's finish hard. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much.